Each month in the modern Gregorian calendar consists of at least 28 days. That number would be a nicely rounded 30 were it not for February. While every month besides the second in the calendar contains at least 30 days, February falls short with 28 and 29 on a leap year. So why is the most widely used calendar in the world so inconsistent in the lengths of its months? And why is February stuck with the fewest number of days? Blame it on Roman superstition. The Gregorian calendar's oldest ancestor, the first Roman calendar, had a glaring difference in structure from its later variants. It consisted of 10 months rather than 12. In order to fully sync the calendar with the lunar year, the Roman king Numa Pompilius added January and February to the original 10 months. The previous calendar had had 6 months of 30 days and 4 months of 31, for a total of 304 days. However, Numa wanted to avoid having even numbers in his calendar, as Roman superstition at the time held that even numbers were unlucky. He subtracted a day from each of the 30-day months to make them 29. The lunar year consists of 355 days, which meant that he now had 56 days left to work with. In the end, at least one month out of the 12 needed to contain an even number of days. This is because of simple mathematical fact. The sum of any even amount of odd numbers will always equal an even number and he wanted the total to be odd. So Numa chose February, a month that would be host to Roman rituals honoring the dead, as the unlucky month to consist of 28 days. Romans believed even numbers to be unlucky, each month had an odd number of days, which alternated between 29 and 31. But, in order to reach 355 days, one month had to be an even number. February was chosen to be the unlucky month with 28 days. Despite changes in the calendar as it was altered after Numa's additions alterations that include the shortening of February at certain intervals, the addition of a leap month, and eventually the modern leap day February's 28-day length has stuck.